boat is new. That wasn't there before. I don't know what somebody must have been back there. Up the top of the hill is our place. There used to be a chicken house along here. Probably a piece of it out there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's the old chicken house still lying there. There used to be a chicken house going this way. There's our old house. There it is, the old property. Dutch Peru. Remember you, I talked about her a lot. She was Wendy's sister. She was married to Arvis Orland, Orland, who was that boy we met yesterday. It was his uncle. So he just hang out over here all the time. Her house over there, although that's not the same house. They remodeled it, added on or torn it down. There's the old chicken house was over there 40 years ago, 50 years ago. She lives just a couple of miles down the building that he talked about. He didn't refer to her by name, but she lived there. So we're going down to a place called Carney Branch. Kind of a little lake, stream area, a uh, little branch. Go down to the Carney Cemetery, and we have time to see OD code. Then we're going. Oh, the road has been fixed up. If this is the way it is all the way down, this used to be like that last little road we were on. So far, they really fixed this road up somehow. At one time. This is the hill Mom used to tell us about, that she was out here in an old Model A Ford or Model T or something. And she it was a stick shift and she didn't know how to do it. She got stuck on this hill here, coming up it, and the engine died. And she didn't know how to get it started. This yeah. part of the Ozark Mountains over there. Here in the middle of no This is sad. What? People are going to be in there. But here's Tiny. That person died three days before I was born. <laughs> Melissa Kearney. What's that again? We used to call it Hudson Swimming Hole. Lawn Hudson. And we would go down the lawn head down this road here and go swimming. It's up there I said Coy Cope used to live there. Mm -hmm. well, this is his and his wife. Ethel Hussein. This lady right here, we get the next time we get the paper, Brad, she writes articles for the 
this community. He's still alive. What's in there? You see that? Yeah. Old outhouse. Right here at the edge of the cemetery. Brad just noticed some creepy bug we'd never seen before. They're dead. They're dead? Yeah, let's see. So we're still in the cemetery here and there's some old abandoned house. The roof's falling off. It's kind of interesting. And the one over here. Pan to the left. We're going to go inside these and do some filming. Yeah, you can see a little bit through the bushes and trees. Alright, we're going to go get inside this thing, I think. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to... Let's try going up around the other way on the road. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in this place. There's barbed wire. Alright, well, we're in the town of Cassville now. Not much to it. Missouri Farmers Association, and my baby. Now, we're gonna find this. Trisha's family cafe. Look over here. All right, guys, where's Roaring River? Cassville Golf Club. Looks like a nice course. The grass out here is just. Awesome. We're looking for Roaring River at this moment. There's a lot of like, campgrounds and places that have picnics. Here's Roaring River. Yeah, that's camping in a fifth wheel trailer. So much for Roaring River today. Uh, so you've heard the broadcast before over this local station. We, like I said, we want you to call about four or five people. Uh, kindly fill us up an audience here. Call Those are Chip Parker Nature Center. Well, We're walking up to a little nature center here. I haven't found the water quite yet. But hopefully we will because it's pretty steamy out right now. Shia will probably appreciate all these little animal pictures made out of leaves and wood and little stuff that they just pick up off the ground. So now we're inside checking out some of the other animal displays. How do we get to the main uh, where the bald eagle right are? here? Just a turkey right here. Right here. Timber rattlesnake right here. You focus in on? Is 
it did. Sorry, you can't see it. Huh? You can in the room. Just follow the river. Kind of blurry. Doesn't look happy. That shot would like this too, Brad. The the bobcat up there. Oh yeah. Too small. I got two. I think one store now. Used to have three. <laughs> Is that a bobcat or a snake? I think it's a bobcat. Or you can go down to Galena. I live about two miles from this intersection. Okay. I was fourth generation. All right. Well, we finally found it. The Roaring River Hatchery. So, one second, we'll see it. There's Bradley. Oh my god. Hey Dad. I don't know if you can see the top of the water, but you can see the fish just with their heads and their fins just sticking out. Just now there's just hundreds of them. So here's the big hatchery. Big daddies. Here's the big hatchery. There aren't quite as many fish per foot, but there's still some huge trout in here. Look at this guy right here, coming up. Look at this guy, Dad. Can you see that in there? Right there, Greg. I think I'm. I think I'm seeing it. Right oh now. my God! Look at that thing. Well, since uh, I'm the one doing all the filming here, I figure I deserve a little camera time. What's up? God, you guys have no idea. These are like the big daddy fish of this hatchery. Oh my God, that is the biggest rainbow trout. One of the biggest rainbow trouts I've ever seen in my life. That thing's got to be eight pounds. Just a monster. Oh, look at this, that? yeah, look at the size of that thing. Oh, it's real. Let's see if we got any other big bulls around here. Oh, they got some serious teeth. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get inside the mouth of this thing. Look at the teeth on that thing. Jesus. That's a rainbow trout, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes a couple more behind it. Yeah? There's some more big daddies. See the big rainbow fellas on it? I am just blown away by the size of these things. Wow. For the environment, too, if it's hatchery. Gregorio, you can say you've been here. I mean, the camera shot for once. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of this when we walked in. The only thing I don't like to see around here. Yeah. Is this right a bad little sign right there. So that's where we just came from. Back around here. And behind me, we've got this beautiful rock formation in a cave with the water. Goes back into. Here's the cavern where the See how that water looks You guys blue. don't mind being on film, do you? Nah. <laughs> I'm not a cop. <laughs> uh, it's probably 60 feet. Really cool. I bet you could jump off that thing and not and be totally cool. So the spring the comes in way back there. Now what's the bubbling back there in the That's, water? Water's falling down. So it is. Somehow. Water dripping into it. Really cool. Okay, I'm trying to get some kind of a relative idea of how big this thing is. That that one that's swimming away now is pretty big too, but this guy is a monster. And I want I was hoping another small fish will come up near him. 
so that you can get some kind of idea how big this thing is. We had some bread or something. Probably come up. They look mean. Just teeth. I'm inside the fish's brain. Okay, we're pulling up to a house that Dad said when he was a kid or oh, no, after, somebody, if we left oh, here. after they left Missouri it was a real beautiful house. And it looks like they're using it to store alfalfa rolls on. But and there's the road back there. Look at what a beautiful place. They just let it build a pond. But we're fascinated by how this house used to be the talk of the town, how beautiful it was. And what a basket case it is now. Let's go check it out. Okay. Showing we got five minutes left on this camera, on this tape. Really? Hopefully we won't get any chiggers. Wow, what a basket case. Sorry guys, but remember I'm new at this, so I'm trying to find the best setting. So I can suppose to show this to Doug. This garage door definitely needs some service. what's going on here. Doesn't look like it's been burned, it just looks like it's been diluted. Now hopefully, here's the kitchen. Hoping I don't fall through the ground here. Because there's certainly holes in the ground. Nice fireplace, sliding glass doors. Bizarre, look at this big hole in the ground here. There's no snake living in this thing. And the front door. Like Dad said, look how pretty it is out here. There's the front gates down there, way down on the road. Bizarre. I'm afraid to walk out here because there's too many holes in the floor. I'll fall through probably. Funky. Should we check out the downstairs, guys? We got three minutes left on this tape. Go check it out. Greg? That's scary. The basement. What the hell happened here? But I'm certainly getting an eerie feeling. Something's telling me to leave. So, that's what I'm going to do. What the hell? 
Okay, we just pulled off the side of the road because I want to show people a chicken house. Shiloh, you too. This is uh, the stuff that my dad used to do when he was a kid. These are big, long chicken houses. It's going up here. It smells like hell. Real bad. These are what the locals refer to as the broilers. Let's see here. Let's see if we can pan in here. Look at all these chickens. This place is huge. Full of chickens. I don't know if we can get any perspective about how big this place is. See if I'm right here. This is uh, probably as long as two football fields. Look at all these chickens. Wow. And there's many, many houses, and they're all over this area. Oh, tons and tons of chicken houses. Bye, guys.